These are full color night vision goggles. First, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it, the full color night vision goggles. Uh, they sent me the goggles along with the uh, SD card, a 64 gigabyte SD card. It's a micro SD card with a bigger adapter just in case I need it. And uh, I'm not too sure everything that comes inside the box here. I know it'll be at least for sure the goggles and the instructions to know how to um, work it because I'm not 100% sure. Never had night vision goggles like these. So there you go, you can see the front of the box here, the side. This is specifically the Seymour 200 night vision goggles, full color again. Uh, you are able to take videos and I think also take pictures on it while you're recording it. So it says full color, uh, it uses an AI chip to make it in the full color. It has four hours of use time, so you can use it four hours uh, in a row. It has 4K and 2K resolution, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. First thing I see when I open it is a little box. So it comes in a case, which is really nice with the handle. Can't wait to use these. This is going to be super cool. And first thing you can see that is in there once I open it are the goggles itself. And we have probably a charging cable I see. This is a, a sling that I can use to carry the case. Um, I see that there are straps here on the side. And then I have the instruction manual here. That's gonna be useful once I start setting this up. And the charging cable for this. Then they have two batteries in here. Both of them are for the camera. It requires a battery and you can plug it into the camera to charge that and it said four hours of use time per battery so that's eight hours of use time if you use both of them so now i'm going to take the camera out of its little compartment here it feels really sturdy it feels like it's made really really well so first off on the bottom here there is a little port that i see i can open to charge the batteries and for the micro sd card to go inside and the compartment below that is I believe to put the battery in, the whole battery itself. So I'm just gonna open it and see. Yeah, so that's where the battery goes. One of these batteries it takes at a time. And this is a screw mount, so you can put it on a tripod, you can screw it into that. It has a little rail mount up here too. So I think on the website, there are accessories you can use to put on this or put it on something itself. Let's see, you have the power button here, the IR to go higher or lower. And then here you have the, the mode button, the menu button, and to take a, a picture or start recording button. It's gonna take the battery. I'm gonna put it inside the camera so we can see if it works now. So it just clicks right in like that. And I can put the covering back over it and see if it'll turn on. Oh wow, this is super cool to look into and use. All right guys, so before we try out the night vision goggles during the night here at the chicken coop, I wanna show you what it looks like in the daytime so you can see for yourself. I also forgot that they are binoculars so you can zoom in really, really far to certain places and we can see everything from the cats to the chickens and all the rats in the chicken coop too. So I'm gonna turn it on and you guys are gonna be able to see what this thing is seeing because I'm gonna record on here. Right now it's recording and I'm just scanning over the land you can see the fire stack back there. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on that so we can see how great the quality is. I think there is 16 times zoom and that is the max quality zoom. So let's see if I can get the quality to shape up a bit and look a little bit nicer for the camera. So let me go ahead and zoom back out so we can see normal again. You can see the resolution is really nice. The chicken wire really is no problem for it. So let me go over to the cats and let's see what we can see over there. You can see Tony's already right there. Hey, Tony. There's Tammy, the rat hunter. So it works pretty well here. Uh, you do have to focus it depending on how far the object is you're looking at. And in order to focus, you have to turn the left lens on the goggles here. You can turn it left to right and you need to focus it based off how it looks. And you can see it blurs out the background there and focuses exactly what I'm looking on. Beautiful shot of the chickens. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some, uh, stop the video and take some pictures. And I'll put the uh, pictures up on the screen right now so you can see those. 
So it's obviously not dark now, so we're gonna wait till the evening to come out, bring it and check out at the chicken coop what we can all see, how well it works. We're gonna try the infrared mode and we're gonna try the color mode. And there you go, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like during the daytime here at the chicken coop. And I'll see you guys tonight when it gets darker so we can pull it out and see how well it does. All right guys, so you can not see my face right now, but you can see the sky above me. And it is a little dark outside, it's about dusk, and I'd say it's probably 30% from being completely black out. So we are going to try and see what the night vision goggles can see and how well they work here in the dark. So I'm going to start the video for you guys so you can see that. So as we're walking down to the barn, you can see how well it is with the red color of the barn and the chicken doors that I have to close. It is a little bit shaky because I'm just holding it up to my eyes here. I do want to be able to see in front of me and where I'm walking. We're going to see uh, if we can see inside the chicken coop if there are any rats in there right now. You can see, oh my gosh, what is that? Look at that. It's some, oh, I think it's Tony. See, normally I can't even see Tony, but with this color, I can see it. I don't see anything else walking around. Let me look over here next to the barn. So I'm going to switch it to infrared mode, see what we can get. Now we are in on infrared, and you can kind of actually see it a lot better now. You see the ramp to the homemade rat trap. I don't see any rats on it. And Dottie the pheasant is right there. You can actually see her kind of well. Now I'm going to turn up the infrared light. So this actually should help a lot. And look at that. You can definitely see her way better. Look at that. You can see her perfectly now. So it actually is working really well here. You can see all the chickens on the roost right there. That is super cool. They're all lined up. Those two are on the nesting box, so I got to fix that roost. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, look at that. There's a rat, guys. There's a rat right there sitting directly on top of it. So with this feature, I'm also going to try and zoom in. Same button that's turning up the IR. Let's turn up the IR a little bit. There you go. Now you can see him well. Look at that. Oh, there's another one crawling. I heard it. I heard it crawling around here. Let's turn the infrared down one. Helps a little bit. And I don't see him over here. Don't see him down there. Don't I see all the chicken eyes down there. I don't see that other rat. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Look at that. There's one right there. And I think it's that one. And that one over there. And I think those are the only ones I'm able to see right now. These uh, night vision goggles I see perfectly. You can see that rat there. I would go in there and get them, but we want the rat trap to do its job. So I'm going to shut the doors and let them get caught. So you can see the doors are right here. I'm just going to shut them up. I thought Tony was somewhere around here, but I guess not. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the color again because it has gotten much darker. And I want to see if it works well now. So here we are in the color mode. Now you can see that it does not work that great, especially because if you see in the camera now, that it is completely pitch black outside. So this definitely works a little bit better if you have some light here. I can see Tony right there. That's not bad at all. So it definitely helps if you have a little bit of moonlight or something, but the moon is blocked from the clouds right now, so I can't see that well. But the color isn't that bad. You can kind of see it well. So there's the color. I'm going to switch back to infrared because I want to be able to see much better. There you go. And remember, we, we only have the infrared on one right now. And it is doing fantastic. It works really, really well. We'll be able to see the chickens on their roost in here coming up. No, but I can see the chickens on their roost right now, as you guys can see there. Look at all the chickens. <laughs> That is funny. Look at them. You can see how well it really works in through the chicken wire. It's actually much better than I thought. And look at that. You can see the eyes reflecting of a little spider or something. Let me zoom in on that so you guys can see. It looks like their eyes reflecting from a spider or something there. And don't forget I only have the IR setting on one, but it can go up to seven. And I'm not seeing anything else. Uh, anything down here in the nesting boxes? Let me focus this up. No, I'm not seeing anything down there. Although I can see the creek really, really well. Look at that. That is pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see the water flowing or not. There you go. Look at that. I can see the water flowing now. That's really good. 
So let's go walk a little bit more on the land, see what else we can all see here. So we can see how that works. And again, I have, oh, guys, there's something over there. There are eyes right there. Guys, there's something looking at me. Look at, can I zoom in good enough? Oh my goodness, I can. Look at that. What in the world is that? I'm going to turn the IR up. So these animals can see that, I think. What is that thing? What in the world is that thing? Is that a possum? What is that? Well, I got to zoom out. Oh, look, it's going. What in the world is that? Look, it's going away. It's going away. What is that? Oh, I can't see it anymore. Where'd it go? Guys, we have to go check that out and see what that was. That's crazy. Wow, that's really crazy. Let me see if I can adjust the goggles a little bit better or something, maybe to see that better. Wow, what in the world was that? We have been seeing that black coyote around here, guys. I'm not saying that was a coyote, but there could be one, which is kind of crazy. And there are dogs that run around here, so we'll see what we can see. Just making sure Tony isn't around here again. I don't want him to come up behind me and scare me. I don't see him. So maybe we'll see what that critter was because I have no clue what that was. All right, let me keep walking and wait, are those eyes again? Those, oh no, I th wait, are those eyes again? Those might be eyes, guys, or are they? No, I think that's, I think that's a light. Yeah, I don't think those are eyes. We have to go check out what those first pair of eyes were. That was really crazy. Gotta turn the eye, oh wait. Oh my goodness, those were eyes, look it. Wait, was it? I'm so confused, we have to just go see what it all was. And it's crazy that I'm going through this whole thing completely pitch black because I literally cannot see otherwise. It could have been a cat, could have been a little raccoon. I'm going to switch back over to light one more time so you guys can see how it works. There's the color with the light. As you can see, having a little bit of light definitely helps. You can't see much right now, but uh, the infrared works fantastic. So glad we were using that. You can see, oh no, those aren't eyes. Those are lights. Anything in those trees? I don't see anything. Wow, that is really crazy, guys. I have no idea what that animal was, but that was weird. It almost looked like it had a possum-shaped face, but I couldn't really tell exactly what it was. Is there anything over there in the field? Wait, yeah. That is something. That is something over there. Look at now it's running away. Look at that. It's running away. Oh my gosh, it's coming towards me. Wait, that thing is coming towards me, right? Hold on, we have to turn up the brightness here. What in the world is that? What in the world? Okay, I'm just going to go towards it. What? It's gone. Wait, no, it's it's there. What is that thing? That might have been the, that black thing. What is that? We have to turn up the infrared again. Do you guys see that? What could that be? That's running away. Is there anything else like that over here? Anything else? I don't see it. This is so crazy though. Where is... Oh yeah, there it is. That's so weird and so crazy, guys. Is it gone now? Oh my goodness, I think it's gone. I don't even see it anymore. I don't see it anymore. Well, we have to go over there and check out if it's still there because I want to know what that thing was. That is so crazy. I have no idea what in the world that thing was. And it was, it would seem like it was running toward us at a certain point. That is so crazy. Wait, is that it? Is that it right there? It's so weird because it also had literally one light flashing back at us. What is that? Okay, guys, we have to go discover this out. I want to know what that thing was. It is so weird, guys. 
All right, I think it's time we head back home. I have no idea what else is out there. There's a lot of stuff that could sneak up on us, and I'm not trying to get snuck up on by an animal. Is that something over there? No, I don't think so. I thought I saw something else. This is so crazy though. These Akaso Seymour 200 night vision goggles work extremely well, especially the infrared. If you guys think you need to get one of these because you want to see what's at your chicken coop in the middle of the night and some predator or something, definitely check it out. I think you guys should get one of these night vision goggles. It works extremely well. I've only lost one bar of battery after being out here for 23 minutes. So I really can't believe how well this is working. And I think I see something else down there. It's some sort of eyes, probably from a rabbit. I don't even know, but something else down there. And yeah, guys, this works so incredibly well. And unfortunately, we couldn't find out that animal, whatever came around us. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so you can watch even more awesome Big Feathers Farm videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.